So one of the one of the first post spawn things that we come out here to do before crankbait season really gets fired up on this lake, those fish have been up here in these bushes and and spawn. Some of them still are. The vast majority of them are through though, and they'll come back out here and stage up underneath these boat docks and get in the shade. Water may be 25, 30 foot deep, and they may only be two foot, six foot, eight foot deep underneath them. They're gonna lay out there and they're just gonna kind of rest up. They're gonna kind of let their breakfast, lunch, and dinner come to them while they're sitting here under these docks. They get rested up a little bit, they'll move off out there in that lake and they'll get back out there and that's when our crankbait bite gets real good. But right here, just first thing post spawn, one of my favorite things to do is just pitching in these boat slips and get back, get back in the deepest, darkest shade that you can find. And that's, that's sometimes you get four or five of them out of one slip and you move over here, get four or five, and you can come back to this one, they'll be grouped up again. Uh, I like to go at this with, I think this is a seven foot spinning rod. Um, it's This rod particular is not a real good dock shooter, but it's a pretty good dock pitcher like that. I can put it all the way back in there. One tip I'll give you about throwing into a boat dock is not to crowd the dock. Don't get too close to it. It gives you, gives you more room to work your lure back into it. If you'll watch uh, professional bass fishermen, excuse me while I catch this one. And that's that's what we're looking for on these docks. See, his belly's all flattened out. He's all spawned out and everything. Uh, two baits that I'll use. The thing with crappie, they either want action or they want la lack of action. They'll eat. So today I'm starting off with them with a curl tail grub. This little pico uh, chartreuse and white on a pico wedge head. It's got that good wide sickle hook on that thing. So it's going to hold that fish. And uh, as long as they're after action, now if you get on them and they start biting this and just seem to quit, that's when I'll go to like the pico pointer shed and where it doesn't have all that flapping tail, but it still puts a bite sized bait in their mouth. Shot no better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 